and Francis, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Known for her diverse roles, one might wonder which among her legendary works defined her career. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this iconic actor? We invite you to share your most memorable experiences in the comments below. Stay tuned as we unfold many funny, shocking, and sad facts about Anne Francis. Keep watching for a glimpse into the intriguing facets of her life. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We'd love to hear your stories in the comments below. And now, let's delve into the captivating details of Anne Francis's journey in the world of entertainment. Keep watching for more. In the realm of Hollywood, Anne Francis stands as a notable figure, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. Born on September 16, 1930, in Ossining, New York, she emerged as a captivating actress, capturing the attention of audiences with her talent and screen presence. Her journey in the world of acting began at a young age, making a debut in 1947 in the film This Time for Keeps. However, it was her role in the science fiction classic Forbidden Planet that catapulted her to widespread recognition. The portrayal of Altera Morbius showcased versatility and marked her as a force to be reckoned with in the film industry. Throughout her career, Frances continued to charm audiences with performances in various genres, from drama to crime and suspense. Contributions extended beyond the silver screen, making her a sought-after talent in both film and television. Notably, she starred in the television series Honey West, earning a Golden Globe for the role as a private detective, an achievement that underscored impact on the small screen. Significance in her time lies in the ability to bring characters to life with authenticity and depth. A career spanning several decades leaves an enduring legacy that resonates with fans and aspiring actors alike. As we celebrate these contributions, it becomes evident that she was not merely an actress. She was a trailblazer who left an undeniable mark on the entertainment industry. In conclusion, Anne Francis remains a celebrated figure in the history of Hollywood, her influence reaching far beyond her time. Talent, versatility, and impact on both film and television make her a noteworthy personality worth recognizing and celebrating in the annals of entertainment history. And Francis, recognized for her contributions to film and television, led a life marked by noteworthy personal and familial aspects. She became a mother to two daughters, Jane Elizabeth Abeloff and Margaret Francis West. Jane Elizabeth, born on March 21, 1962, shares a distinctive trademark mole with her mother. Notably, Margaret was adopted in May of 1970, marking one of the initial instances of a single-parent adoption in California. In a unique turn of events, Anne pursued flying lessons, demonstrating a keen interest in aviation. However, her aspirations were interrupted as she had to discontinue the lessons due to a pregnancy. Delving into the family history, Anne had a connection to American history through her great-grandfather Tench Francis. He served as an aide to George Washington, adding a historical dimension to her lineage. These personal and familial details provide a glimpse into the lesser-known aspects of her life, showcasing a balance between the professional and personal worlds. A notable episode in Anne Francis's career was her decision to decline the lead role in the film Claudel English. Eventually, this proved a misstep as the movie, starring D.A. McBain, did not fare well at the box office. Later, she stepped in to replace actress Joan Hackett in The Satan Bug. Beyond acting pursuits, she, a dedicated rodeo fan, ventured into filmmaking by writing and directing the short subject film Gemini Rising. Delving into her family history, a connection to American history emerged through her great-grandfather, Tench Francis, who served as an aide to George Washington. This ancestral tie provides a unique historical dimension to her lineage. From turning down roles to exploring her passion for rodeo and making a foray into filmmaking, Anne Francis's journey encompassed diverse facets, reflecting a balance between professional choices and personal interests. A graduate of the AADA, Anne Francis joined the class of 1950. Her early marriage to Bamlett Lawrence Price Jr., a former UCL, a student working on the film project One Way Ticket to Hell, ended in a divorce settlement where he repaid the 4,000 borrow wood for the film. Her second marriage to Dr. Robert Abeloff, a dentist, resulted in one daughter, Jane Elizabeth. Both marriages lasted about three years each. Anne Francis not only ventured into film, but also participated in radio programs early in her career. 
She made regular appearances on one of New York's first television stations before World War II, using television cameras from the Farnsworth Corporation. This involvement included an early experiment with color television on the CBS-owned station. Her journey from AAD to early film projects and experimentation with television marked significant points in Anne Francis's career. From her marital experiences to contributions in radio and television, these aspects unveil a less explored dimension of her life, laying the foundation for a more in-depth exploration of her career and personal choices. Raised in a New York apartment at 66 1199th Street, Forest Hills, Anne Francis's early life laid the groundwork for her enduring career. An interesting facet of her journey was her appearance as the young Gertrude Lawrence in the original Broadway production of Lady in the Dark. This early stage experience hinted at the trajectory she would follow in the motion picture industry. With a career spanning nearly 60 years, she made a mark in the film industry, eventually retiring in 2004. Despite stepping away from acting, her contributions remained indelible. Notably, her decision to retire marked the conclusion of a prolific era, showcasing the resilience of her career. From the youthful portrayal of Gertrude Lawrence to her final bow in 2004, her journey encapsulates a fascinating exploration of the motion picture industry. This article delves into key aspects of her life, offering a glimpse into her early years and the notable moments that shaped her remarkable career. Stay tuned for an insightful exploration of this multifaceted life. Anne Francis, a lifelong Democrat, left an enduring mark on the entertainment industry. Her journey began on Broadway in Lady in the Park, where she portrayed a young Gertrude Lawrence. This early stage experience hinted at the trajectory she would follow in the motion picture industry. In the world of politics, Anne Francis remained a committed Democrat throughout her life. Her political allegiance was a constant, reflective of her values and beliefs. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, she maintained a steadfast commitment to her political convictions. Tragically, her passing occurred just 35 days after her Forbidden Planet co-star, Leslie Nielsen. This somber connection adds a poignant layer to their shared history in the film industry. Their consecutive departures marked the end of an era, leaving behind a legacy that resonates in the annals of film history. From her beginnings as a child actor on Broadway to her lifelong political affiliation and the poignant timing of her passing after Leslie Nielsen, Anne Francis's journey is an intriguing exploration of a woman who left an indelible mark on both the stage and the screen. This article delves into key aspects of her life, offering a glimpse into her early years and the notable moments that shaped her remarkable career. Stay tuned for an insightful exploration of this captivating life. In her cinematic journey, Anne Francis left an indelible mark with four films honored by the National Film Registry, Bad Day at Black Rock, Blackboard Jungle, Forbidden Planet, and Funny Girl. These films, recognized for their cultural and historical significance, underscored her impact on the silver screen. Beyond acting, Anne Francis held a deep connection with the International New Thought Alliance, a metaphysical religious organization. This affiliation added a spiritual dimension to her life, reflecting a commitment beyond the glitz of Hollywood. In 1953, Anne Francis earned the distinction of being a dead star, marking a notable point in her career. This acknowledgement highlighted her rising prominence in the entertainment industry during that period. Anne Francis, celebrated for her roles in both film and television, embarked on a diverse journey that extended beyond the screen. Engaging in karate lessons, she showcased a commitment to expanding her skill set, a facet of her career notably evident during her time starring in the TV series Honey West. In 2007, despite quitting smoking nearly two decades earlier, she faced a health challenge with a lung cancer diagnosis. Undeterred, she immediately underwent chemotherapy and in February 2008 opted for surgery to remove the upper lobe of her right lung. This resilient response to adversity highlighted a determination and courage in the face of health setbacks. An honor in her career came on February 8, 1960, when she received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 11611 Vine Street in Hollywood, California. This recognition solidified her impact on the entertainment industry, underscoring significant contributions to the world of film and television. From karate lessons to battling lung cancer and receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, her journey reflects a tenacious spirit and a lasting footprint in the entertainment landscape. Stay tuned for more insights into her life and career.